But what's up, you guys? I am so sorry I'm not there. Um, I hope you're having a good morning, and I miss you lots. So I will see you tomorrow. If throughout today um, you have any questions, concerns, you're not sure how to do a problem, um, you can circle them, and I can check them tomorrow. You can um, write them down, and I can answer them when I return tomorrow. Whatever. Up to you, okay? Um, but let's go through this. So your first question here is looking at the population, and uh, we're specifically looking at this equation of f of x equals 6,600 times 1.17 to the x. And so automatically i know that we are increasing because of that 1.17 um because that's our constant ratio and it is in fact increasing so if we are looking at interpreting the function that describes how the population changes what we need to do is we actually need to find that percentage of what is changing by and so we kind of worked on this today a little bit and so what we are going to do is set up that new equation so one plus um r over 100 equals we know it has to equal 1.17 and so what we actually will do here i'm going to change the font size on this really fast but what we need to do here is we're just going to do linear equations right now right um some simple linear equations and we are going to increase or i don't know if i'll be able to y'all we're going to solve for our r and so that's what we're trying to look for right now and so what i'll do first is we are actually going to subtract one on both sides and when we subtract one on both sides we will end up with r over 100 oops, equals 0.17 okay and then in order to finish it we are just actually all going to multiply by 100 and your R is going to end up being 17%. Now, that is not your final answer because what I'm asking you is explain how, what is changing by what's happening um, to our population change. And so, what we can say is we can say our po. Oh, I'm still on. Hold on. We can say, oh, that's going to be really big. I am so sorry, y'all. Technology, right? Our population increases at a rate of 17 percent per year and that's all you can put and you're done okay now if we're going down to number two it says the number of campers in town of um claryville claryville i think was 20,050. A year later, the number of campers was 28,025. Write a function to model the situation, determine the percent increase in the number of campers each year. So um, we are actually able to quickly find that y-intercept because our y-intercept is that first term. So 20,000, let's do this correctly, f of x equals 20,000. 50. Now, in order for us to get that constant ratio, all we have to do, right, making this calculator, I'm going to, is take that second number, so 28,025, and divide it by 20,050. Oops, sorry, hold on. And your constant ratio is that decimal, so 1.3 or 40. We'll do 40. We'll round up a little. Actually, let's do that. 3, 9, seven eight right and then we can bring it to the x and so that's our equation and so in order for us to get the percentage that's changing again we are going to work backwards from that one plus r over 100 equals 1.3978 okay and so subtract one you're going to end up with r over 100 equals um 0 0.3978 and then we can just multiply, and that's going to move that decimal over two. So our percentage for this, our final answer, should be something along the lines of this. Um, the percent increase oops, is, you can do 40% round up, 40% um, of campers each year. And you're done. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know, but you can go ahead and move on to the next slide. Awesome job, y'all.